Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we have a new repack product through uh, Championship uh, Collection. Uh, I found this here at Walmart and I have been trying to find some information about this product uh, online and I haven't been able to find anything at all. Uh, there's a lot of Championship Collection repack uh, product examples online and I'm f familiar with, uh, with most of them, but this one in particular uh, seems brand new and uh, geared towards the Toronto Blue Jays. Um, as you can see with the uh, plush major uh, leaguer uh, player there and the uh, the three card samples, um, as you see on the cover. Um, so I'm looking forward to opening this. I paid $30 for it, and it's included inside is one plush major leaguer, one hobby pack, six factory sealed packs, three bonus items, no idea what those bonus items are, and then six cards, which includes either one auto uh, or relic card. And um, we'll take a look at the top is just the logo. The back is the same with a, oh, a little bit different graphics on the back there. And the side looks like that. So it is very Toronto Blue Jays, which is all right for me. It is our only team here in Canada, and they are a pretty young, dynamic uh, team that is coming together, which is awesome. And so I am pretty stoked to, to open this. All right, so let's get right uh, into this here. We'll get this open at the top there. This is a big box. It's like a briefcase. Okay, so let's see what we have. The big reveal. And there we have it. So um, as mentioned earlier, there are three bonus items. Um, so obviously it appears that those are not uh, sports card related, but let's start off with the plush doll. I wanna try and uh, do this in a way where I can sort of control what's, what's visible, but it's, I'm gonna do my best to keep everything visible on the screen, but the box is so big. So this one here, uh, this plush major leaguer, I, oh, Encarnacion, look at that. I mean, this is obviously a plush doll from uh, back in the day. He's definitely not with the uh, Blue Jays. Um, let's see what year this is from. Oh yeah, 2016. So this is from uh, Cooperstown Collection. Hey, that's kind of cool, actually. I like that. That'll go uh, in the, the office here and in the background. We'll put them aside for now. All right, what's next? Let's go next with what this is here. This here is a big league minis player, collectible vinyl figures. Includes one figure per pack. Collect all 28. Very cool. We won't open this. We will keep this in our uh, giveaway prize bin. All right. Next up, we will pull out what, see what these are here. So Fathead 2013 Tradables. So these look like they're uh, stickers and potentially pop-ups, are they? 75 Tradables available. Uh, step up to the plate with 2013 MLB Fathead Tradables. Prove you are a real fan with MLB action that sticks almost anywhere. So I wonder if these are removable type stickers seven five by seven movable peel and stick mlb vinyl graphics i kind of want to open one 
There are two identical, so let's go ahead and open one of these and just see what's inside. I'm just going to move this over slightly. There we go. And from 2013. Interesting to see. Oh, wow, you get quite a few in here. Has anybody seen these before? Anybody have any of these? So we start off with Roy Halliday. Rest in peace, brother. Josh Reddick. Gio Gonzalez. Dustin Pedroia. Nelson Cruz. And some marketing material. I was kind of hoping to see if there was a trout in there, 2013 trout. I think that'd be pretty awesome. But nonetheless, these are great. If anybody's interested uh, um, in these uh, these movable uh, stickers, let me know in the comments section, and I will randomly pick one subscriber. So if you're not subscribed to the channel. Uh, make sure you do so. Make sure your subscriptions are public so I can verify that. And uh, like and comment on this video. And then I will pick um, I will pick a random comment that shows specific interest in this specific product. So that's what's going to be included. And then um, shoot me an email. Uh, my email is in my de description uh, on my channel. And then I'll go ahead and get this sent out to you. So I'm going to leave this one unopened and we'll keep this one um, for the channel and then I'll ship out someone this one here so let me know all right let's uh, get into the cards that are inside okay next up so we will what we'll do here because that card there looks like it might be the the quote unquote hit so let's just leave that one here. So it's right there as you can see. No funny business. We'll put these uh, series one. I think these are retail, these are not hobby. All right, we have some more retail, 2018 Chrome, that's nice. Those are nice packs. 2018 Series 1, we have some more 2019 Series 1, and I don't know which one here is, that's it, there was, uh, that's all that was in the box. So it says that there's one hobby pack, I don't see that these are hobby. This does not look like hobby. Neither does this. And neither of these look like hobby. Did we get ripped off? No hobby pack. That's disappointing. Usually there's, you know, the hobby emblem. Right? Am I wrong? Huh. Well, that sucks. Oh, here we go. Here's the hobby. Jesus, down there. All right, so we'll save this hobby pack. You know, the 2018 Series 1. Not uh, an ideal uh, hobby pack, but uh, hey, at least we didn't get ripped off and it's there. We'll save that one for last. So what we'll do here is... I mean, these first four products here are not ideal. These ones would definitely be the best out of the packs. So we'll save those ones for last, um, including we'll save the hobby uh, for last as well. So let's go ahead and open up this one first. Hopefully everybody's having a great week so far. All right, Merrifield Asuna, Carrasco Pot and Pear. Chris Sale, Legend in the Making, Matt Joyce, Corey Kluber, Washington Nationals, we have a Jose Bautista, uh, and Carlos Rondon, Roden. Okay, next up we have 2019 Series 1, Retail, Gomes, Phil Meyer, 
We have Calhoun. That's Cole Calhoun, not Willie. Fulmer. We got Seattle. Arenado. Aguilar. We have Dietrich. Davis. And Urias. Okay, second pack. We have Senzetala, Aaron Judge, Freddie Freeman, Chapman, Solar, Cespedes, Franco, Scoop, Shoop, Mondesi, and Michael Conforto. All right. Next up, but hey, Tascar Hernandez on the back. He is uh, um, definitely one of my favorite players on the Blue Jays. So we got Kyle Tucker's rookie. We have Garrett Hampson rookie. Winker, Atlanta Braves, down at SunTrust Park. We have Wade LeBlanc, the Dynamic Cheaters. We have uh, Hector Rondon. Molina, Corey Seager, and Tesco Hernandez. So this here would be one, two, three, four is fourth year. There we go. Okay, now we are on to 2018 Chrome. I absolutely love this product. Uh, this year, the rookies are just amazing. And uh, the tough thing about this, though, is that there's only four cards in the pack. Uh, so it is... Tough to pull a good card, but look at that. Right on the top, we have a Willie Calhoun rookie card, Chrome. Hey, that's not bad, hey? That's a pretty good first card on the top. Then we have a Ben Attendee. We have a freshman Flash, Harrison Bader. That's not bad either. He's a decent ball player. And then lastly, we have a Jameson Talon. All right, so second pack on its way. We have a Chapman on the back. Hey, Ahmed Rosario, rookie card Chrome. Not bad. These have been some uh, two great Chrome packs. AJ Minter, another one, not bad. Oh, <gasps> we pulled a freaking auto. Ronald Herrera, rookie on card auto. Wow, imagine that out of a repack and a retail pack and a pack that only has four cards. Holy moly, it's it's got some pretty interesting waves uh, on the card. There's no damage to the corners, which is good. So that would flatten out in a in a top loader. But look at that. I don't know much about that player, uh, Ronald Herrera. I'll have to look him up. But hey, on card auto. That is awesome. Don't think these things are uh, numbered. Wow, I'm going to get that one in a sleeve right away. Then we have a Matt Chapman on the back. So those chrome packs were fire. We have AJ Minter, rookie, Ahmed Rosario, freshman flash of Harrison Bader, Willie Calhoun, rookie, and a rookie auto of Ronald Herrera. So while we are uh, thinking about it here we are going to get some uh, penny sleeves to to put these ones into right away well i definitely find that that uh repack box um was well worth the 30 bucks so far and we haven't even gotten to our hits yet or the hobby pack Has anybody seen this product before? Just curious if uh, um, if anybody has, or maybe something similar. I mean, is is that uh, plush doll, the MLB 10 inch plush figure? Sorry, better term is a figure. Um, anybody seen a box similar to that? Maybe in your state or your province or um, you know wherever you might be, closer to a different type of ball team. Um, have you seen something like that? All right, so let's get some top loaders here, and then we will move on. It's a 
tight squeeze, but there we go. I'm just going to get these other ones in here as well. All right, hobby pack time. I didn't take a look at what the odds were for uh, autos out of this uh, hobby pack, but I guess we'll find out. I mean, we've hit one already. We have a Markakis. We have a Polenko. We have a Strasburg. Grink. We have a, looks like a Father's Day, Ryan Healy. It's just an insert, not numbered. We have a Herrera. This is a Oduble Herrera. And then the auto is a Ronald Herrera. I wonder if they're related. We have a Texas Rangers card. Brandon Phillips. Stephen Matz. And finally, a Jake Lamb. So no hit out of that hobby pack. No numbered cards on the back. All right, so let's now check out these bonus cards. So on the back, we got a Ken Giles uh, with the Blue Jays. And on the front, it looks like we have a Pete Rose autograph. Is that real? Is this Pete Rose real? Is this Pete Rose real? Would they put a fake Pete Rose autograph in this pack? Is that real? What? Is this real? The official Pete Rose baseball card set. Designed by Topps Chewing Gum Inc. Question, as a player, what is your feeling on the designated hitter? I like the designated hitter. I think it adds more offense and excitement to the game. Pete Rose, front, leaving on deck circle prior to hit. Now this does not authenticate the autograph, but this is a tops card. And that is an on-card auto. You can tell when you put the light when you shine light onto it, you see how it changes to a purple like that? That is not a printed, um, that is not a printed autograph. And if we can take a look here, I'll see if I can do this so you guys can see it as well. Let's take a look. So I just want to see, yeah, that is on card. The gloss and the shine is much different than the card itself. And the ink does change color in the light. It turns like a purple. See how it turns purple like that? Wow, a Pete Rose auto. Okay, hold up. I'm just going to go run and grab a... Uh... A one touch here. A Pete Rose on-card auto. I wonder what year this card is from. The picture on the front is from 85. I'm going to have to look into this. So this card is slightly bigger than... Shoot.
that's too bad. This is slightly bigger than the opening. It shouldn't be. Unless it's just cut. Is it maybe just cut? Um, because you see that this corner here goes in, that corner up top is in, but this one is a little tight. And I think that the card just may be cut off a little bit. I don't want to force it in there. That's too bad. But let's get a sleeve on this. Has anybody seen these cards before? I'm still in sort of, I'm still like dumbfounded here. I, I... <laughs> that doesn't look like the best top loader. All right, here we go. Wow, that's incredible. A Pete Rose on card auto. I don't have any Pete Rose autograph cards. Okay, let's uh, let's focus and get back to these ones. So we got a Biggio. We have a Bobichet opening day rookie. We have a Gorel Jr. Grink and a Ken Giles. So there you have it. What's your guys' thoughts on this product, man? I, I mean, I am super happy about this. A Pete Rose auto, Ronald Herrera auto. These top rookies out of 2018 Chrome. And I mean, a plush figure? <laughs> I'm actually pretty stoked about that one. Well, thanks for tuning in, man. I'm, I'm glad everybody got to uh, experience uh, this new product with me. Um, love to hear your thoughts in the comment section. And um, yeah, hopefully I can find out some information about this card. And uh, if I can, I'll, I'll see if I can throw a little bit of information uh, on this card right now here right here Boop. but if i can't then it'll just remain blank and uh we'll chat uh on the next one hey!